Welcome back to the channel, D Web Guy Community. It is your host, Jordan. Today, we're going to be diving down into our favorite cryptocurrency, also known as Kronos. We are going to be talking about the price action, and then we are going to be diving down into the charts because Kronos is actually starting to look pretty good. The big question, though, is where are we going? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, taking a look at Kronos, you guys will see that on twitter there's not much going on here they have had some big listings right which is really really good but we haven't had some big news like they had last time we talked about this how they expanded into south korea now if we go ahead and continue you guys will see for chronos that we are down a little bit today at about two percent all right so two percent Whenever it comes to the rank, currently sitting at 25, market cap 3.8 billion, and then the volume is technically neutral on the day. It's down slightly, so just a little bit. Now, if we take a look at the charts right here, you guys can see that Kronos definitely has been slowly working its way back up. And just to let you guys know, technically Kronos is up over 50% since it's lows right i don't know if you guys knew that but uh, we hit a low down here at about 10 cents to 9 cents and we have been creating higher lows ever since right so technically we're hitting around 15 cents which is a 50 percent gain in the past month if you actually bought that big dip the question is though is are we going to continue up or are we going to dip back down so if we can, we'd like for a nice a breakout above. It's around 15 cents to uh, 16 cents. And technically, we're going to be looking for a nice gap up. Now, if we take a look over here on the right side, you guys will see a lot of people definitely bullish uh, whenever it comes to Kronos. we got a few negative Nancys, but hey, that is just the way that it is, right? So I'm happy to see overall sediment is good and we're starting to pick up some uh, momo, some momentum. Now, diving down into the charts, Please keep in mind that no, this is not financial advice. That means that you need to do your own due diligence and you also need to do your own research. So if we take a look at Kronos, ladies and gentlemen, you guys will see that we have been creating those higher lows as we stated. We have a low here, higher low here, higher low here, higher low here. Not to mention we have the green line. This is the 200 EMA. When price action is below the green line, it's considered bearish. And when it is above it, it is considered bullish. So as you guys can see that we are above it, which means we are technically bullish at this current moment. We also look like we have a shallow sloping support that's holding up us as well. So whenever it comes to Kronos, there's a good possibility we could be looking for a nice move up. we got to get a breakout out of 16 as stated. We'll be looking for a gap up to 18. Then we actually have another gap up all the way up here to 20. However, if we happen to break this sloping support, which is always possible... There's a good chance that we could just kind of trade sideways. And I believe this is a good uh, opportunity to uh, be accumulating uh, Kronos, right? Or to, uh, let's say, what's the word? Consolidate, right? So this could be a great opportunity to accumulate or for the price action to consolidate. And then we can look for a big move to the upside. So right now, Kronos is still under that nasty long-term sloping resistance. So we have a lot of work to do. You guys can see we got rejection here, rejection here, okay? So a lot of work to do for Kronos, but there's a good possibility that we have actually hit our bottom. We did state in the past that we have a, you know, this purple box over here that we have an important area that we need to pay attention to that I was looking for this to be a bottom. Uh, technically, my own personal opinion, like it really has to be a bottom. Why? Because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of price conflict going on in this area. Same thing over here. And every single time it dips here, it normally gets a nice bounce, right? So I do believe that Kronos has uh, officially hit a bottom. And I do believe that this could be a long-term entry, long-term opportunity. Like I stated, take that with a grain of salt, though. All right? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are definitely bullish on the Kronos. Now, if you guys have not, take up the opportunity to check out our links down below to the downside. You guys know my name is Jordan. I'm with the D-Web Guide community. We have a directory, we got NFTs, we got insights, we got news, and we have referral codes. All the way down, we got articles. So if you guys want, take a read of these articles. Literally only takes a few minutes. Or if you guys would like to be part of crypto.com, if you do not have an exchange, go to our discounts. All right, our discounts, you guys will see we have a lot going on here, okay? 
So we have crypto.com, aka crypto.org. We got BlockFi, Travala, and Binance. So you can actually get some really good payouts. For crypto.com though, if you like, just click on it. And basically it's gonna take you to where you can actually use our referral code. All you have to do is click on exchange. Once you do that, and make sure you guys sign up, right? And you gotta stake some CRO. It's really not a lot of CRO, but you guys just gotta go through all that information and that is it, okay? So uh, make sure you guys check this out whenever you get the opportunity. Other than that, you guys, Kronos, I mean, we are, uh, we're bullish, right? So uh, I think there's a great opportunity. If you guys will, let us know exactly what you think. Are you going to be buying up? Have a great day. We'll see you later and ciao.